I want to address a comment some of you made in yesterday's video about this topic. Is freedom too transparent in the information that it shares publicly? The comment in yesterday's video was from All Games Must Die. He started the comment that said, You know, George, if I hacked a company, nothing would make me happier and want to do it again than its CEO making a video about it. In case you don't know, I did make a video about hackers taking down our freedom forums. If you missed that video, click that I to watch it to see what this comment is talking about. And he said, for the sake of freedom, it's probably best to just take care of that stuff behind the scenes without bringing it to, bringing, bringing attention to it. And I wanted to discuss this point because the philosophy of freedom, what I personally believe is that transparency is king. It is important to be transparent so everyone trusts us that we don't hide anything, that there isn't any backroom dealings. And I agree there is such a thing as too much transparency, but in the case of telling people that we are under attack and that the forums are down, it actually explains to you, the partners, why the forums are down. And we want to share this because we know some of you have the same problem of hackers trying to take down your site. So we tell you the solutions that we found work for us in an attempt to help you if the problem happens to you. Now, looking at some of the other comments, Chris Takamura said, yeah, but I guess George wants to let us know exactly what I said. They are aware of the problem and they're doing the best to solve it. And guys, if we can't stop a few amateur hackers from taking down a forum, then what are we in this business for? I understand that if we make a video about it, it makes them feel like, wow, we have attention. Let's do more of it. It's actually a challenge to us because we have to be able to fight off these attacks even if we provoke them by giving them some, uh, some spotlight in a video. And if we can't, then there's a real issue with our own team. So that's why I'm not so worried about having these hackers come back because we made a video about it. All Games Must Die replied, yeah, it's one of those delicate situations. Well, like I said, if freedom is being hacked, they must be doing something right. And that's another good point. If we've attracted all this attention that hackers want to target our sites and spend the time to run a botnet that generates all these millions of fake requests, then we must be doing something right. Otherwise, they wouldn't care to do it. And then Ashley Silverdust uh, shared her opinion which was that I suppose you have a bit of a point here, would be better use of time to talk about positive things and bring attention to better things going on. And that's a good point too. One of the better things going on is a video that I will release soon that talks about how to get more views to your videos by looking at when the best time is to upload to your channel. And the best way to do that is to look at this graph, which is Google Analytics, not YouTube Analytics. And it tells you when people start coming to your channel. In our case, you can see that it's around midnight. And that's why I am going to change the time I upload my videos, after looking at this graph, to midnight Pacific. And that, hopefully, will give us more views. How did I get this graph? Well. I went to my channel under the advanced settings and I entered a Google Analytics ID, which I got from Google Analytics to generate all this data. I'll make a proper video explaining this good news, but this is the sneak peek where you can use it to get information about your channel because it takes Google Analytics some time before you start seeing this data. So, good point, Ashley. We should be talking about positive things. Anyway, she appreciates the honesty and the way we're open at the same time. And then Crazy Jack said, I do agree with you, Ken, that there are a few things freedom needs to keep safe, but it would be cool if we not share our power because we don't want that other networks out there shall know how big and powerful freedom is. And that's another good point. We actually don't mind if other networks know how big and powerful freedom is because 
we will improve if we see competitors trying to be better than us. That's the competitive nature of humanity. We need to have someone who's better than us, so we want to become yet even better than them. So bring it on, other networks. Tell us what you're doing better than us, and we will respond by hopefully doing it even better than them. This is one of the uh, points I made in yesterday's video in sharing the size of the Freedom Family, which was this number. And I said, every day I will hit refresh to look at the number and see how much we grew. Now, it hasn't ticked yet, meaning the 24 hours hasn't happened yet, so this is still the same number at the time I'm recording this video. But when it does tick to the next day, then I will certainly press refresh and show you this number. So let's get back to the original question. Do you feel freedom is being too transparent with the way we explain how people are attacking us and how we fight the solution? Do you feel we shouldn't explain that? Do you feel we shouldn't share the network numbers or other things that may be too transparent? Tell us down there in the comments below. And who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. The shirt is back. And you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.